Chad B. Roth produces pieces for the Artomat Project. I think I'm on my 12th or 13th series of 50. Taylor Hayes' latest work is the Little Coffee Break series. This particular batch I painted with coffee. Each Artomat creation is no bigger than 7 eighths of an inch by 2 inches by 3 inches. It's a whole different way to look at art because you're working on such a small scale. The dimensions are the same as a pack of cigarettes, since the art is dispensed from old cigarette vending machines. We cater the art to, to, uh, to that format. Clark Whittington developed the idea for Artomat when Congress banned the vending machines in most spots in 1997. Artomat is basically a banned and retired cigarette machine that has been converted into a functional art installation. 300 to 400 people from around the world supply art for the machines. It's just a different kind of um, idea about how you can get art. The artists are fine with abiding by the size restrictions. The constraints that are put on the art actually help you get more creative. The project makes art accessible. What we're doing is, is letting people experience art at $5 pop. $5 allows for easy entry into the world of art. It not only has an uh, appeal to art collectors, but it has an appeal to everybody because of the price range. That has proven to be the way things play out. I know the Artomat has facilitated the first sale from an artist and the first purchase from a buyer. With 120 machines in operation around the world, artists get exposure. It's a chance to um, let people that I would probably never run into see a sample of my work. With $5, a connection is made between artist and buyer. If they decide to later buy a bigger piece or come to a gallery show, that's just a cherry on top. Clark Whittington works full-time on the Artomat project, maintaining the supply of artwork and restoring machines. People know what these machines used to do, so they're attracted to the repurposing. Relics from another age get new life, the public has access to affordable art, and artists get sales and exposure. I love being a part of it. It's a great project. I'm Richard Green, and this is Made in the Carolinas.